Good morning. Well, this morning our scripture is found in James chapter 4, verse 17, and it goes like this. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is a sin. I, this morning I titled my message, or devotion, I should have, but I didn't. <laughs> I think we've all fallen in that trap, hadn't it? You know, it's a very familiar verse. Uh, most of us have read it and uh, quoted it. But we need to reread that verse every day. Yeah. It seems like I fall short of the glory of God every day in serving him. And uh, I have many, many shortcomings, just like everyone else. And unfortunately, I have a one-track mind. <laughs> and that's, that's not a good thing. Uh, to do things that I want to do, not necessarily the things that I should do. And I think we can all place ourselves in that. This verse helps remind me that the things, the right things that we should do, uh, we rarely do them. Not unless we're asked to or something like that, but we need to uh, fulfill the Lord's commission. And that should be the foremost thing in, the, in our thoughts. And uh, how do we do this? Well, first off, we got to get self-centeredness out of the way. Uh, we, many of us, are very self-centered. And uh, it's a, a my way or the highway mindset. We're running at a high rate of speed, looking straight down the path, not to the right nor to the left. We might see, uh, uh, you know, signs <laughs> placed along the road, you know, hey, I need help. I need this. I need that. Uh, and, and we place a higher value on the little piddly things that we, as humans, want to do over the things of God. And we certainly need to change that attitude. Why do we do that? Well, it's human nature uh, to do the things that we want to do and not necessarily the things that God wants us to do. But we need to change that. And the only way we can change that is through prayer. I, I, I know you're probably tired of hearing me say, pray, 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 but I can't say it enough because the Bible says pray without ceasing and very seldom do we, some of us, even pray. How sad. Yet, we want to be a called a child of God and we don't pray to our Lord for direction. we find that we place his will at the bottom of the stack and not at the top. Matthew 6, 33 tells us, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added into you. So folks, in reality, what we're doing, we're missing out on a lot, a lot of blessings from God by not seeking him first and serving us second. We need to get on track and, uh, and start serving God the way that you and I should serve. Oh yes, God is with you always. So be mindful of what you do, what you think, what you say as you're going about your day. Be mindful of that because his spirit's with you, whether you know it or not. So be mindful of his spirit.
with you and what the things that you do the things that you the the things that you see and the places that you go i hope you got something out of this may god richly bless you i love you but better yet jesus loves you see you soon bye-bye